What's happening everybody, JJ here with Vision Labs. I'm gonna to talk today about funnels. So here is a funnel, different types of funnels, when to use them, how to use them, and what you might wanna consider when you're building out funnels, okay? Uh, so that's what we're gonna talk about today. Hopefully this is of interest because I am always jazzed about a good funnel. So in order to have a funnel, uh, you have to have kind of initial, a few things is first you have to have the ability of knowing sequences is step one happens less or more than step two step two happens more than step three step three happens more than step four uh that can really not a funnel doesn't make any sense usually unless that occurs otherwise you end up with a bloated funnel where it gets small then big then small again um, so that's a prerequisite to this. So a very common funnel is e-commerce, right? View item, begin check, or add to cart, begin checkout, purchase. Four steps, everybody is kind of familiar with that. I'm gonna be using video percentages. So I just wanna show you kind of, hey, like we're gonna be using video percentages that I are collected through Google Analytics, uh, through using Tag Manager, and then we have already done the prep in BigQuery. And so uh, I have the data here ready to be visualized. So let's get down to business. So here are two different funnels here. One is a smooth chart and one is a um, kind of more robust chart here. Um, these can be found in the community visualizations. This one is Funnel Pro by cavoc.com. And this one is Metrics Funnel by Power My Analytics on the left. So on the left, Power My Analytics, right, cavoc.com. Okay. So pros and cons of this pro of the left is that it's very easy to see the visual breakdown of saying, okay, this one, and then this one at 84, 78, 53, there's a pro on the right side. We then have percentage for the next step as well as percentage to the previous step. Okay. So keep that in mind is like, these are all in relation to the first one. So 84% of people uh, made it to 30% and 50% people made it to, um, 50% or 72% people made it to 50% and 38% of people made it to 90%. The two percentages can get really confusing. I understand that. So let's talk about other ways you can build these funnels. So down here, we have simple scorecards, okay? And so in general, when you have these kind of sequences here, uh, what you can do is you can take this and this and this and this, and then what we can actually do is put in the middle here is another funnel of what we can take this field here is we can say, I want the video uh, 30 right down here, and we're gonna divide that by um, the 10. And that's gonna give us our percentage here. So here's another way of getting yourself a funnel. I'm just wrapping these in a sum function. And we are going to hit apply on that. And now uh, we should change this into a percentage. And let's put two decimal points on that bad boy. And there we go. So 84.18% go from 10 to 30. That should be the same up here. There you go. So again, different ways of doing this. What we can also do is style this a little bit. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this just because uh, it's like you can, you can style it how you wish, but like usually you can kind of go gray centered. Um, and then usually I like to personally go with rounder edges. Again, this is not a stylizing video. We're not talking about style. I wanna kind of show you real world how these work. So you can do that same step along the way. This is the gotcha, okay? So just everyone pay attention right now. Is you oftentimes have funnels in relation to other metrics. So for example, you could have this broken down by, for example, um, the video, which video is this in relation to? Well, now you've got a couple of options. Is option one is you can add in a control and say, I wanna have a drop down list here and we're gonna put in the video name. I'm not even sure if we put the video name in here. Let's see, do, do, do. video title. Hey, there we go. All right, so now we have the video title. There we go. Here's our thank you cheat sheet video. Um, there we go. We can see here 40 people uh, started at 10%, 36, 32, 21. There we, there we go. What we can also do in this is we could have in multiple. So here's GA4 real time. If you wanna go check that out, let's make this a little wider so we can kind of see all the names. But as you can tell, this kind of gets confusing, right? And this happens in e-commerce. Like my biggest gripe with e-commerce is multiple don't break this thing down by items. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you another way of doing this. So here's a funnel, right? Here's all of our videos. We can then add a filter to it and say, hey, I wanna look at just this one video of the thank you on the cheat sheet, which you should go download right now. Uh, that's visionlabs.com forward slash YouTube. Grab yourself a cheat sheet, join the newsletter. It's a blast. Um, and then here's that thank you video. 
What we could do also, and this is my personal favorite, is you can actually add a chart here. And so I want to make this into a little charty chart. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the video title on the left. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the 10%. I'm just going to use the same ones. We have 10, 30, 50, and 90. And those should give us the kind of more utility here. So now we can see each video. And then I'm going to take that same metric I put up here. I'm just going to copy that function and put those in between. So here we have 10 to 30. We can turn this into a percentage. And then I'm going to put that with two decimal points here. And I'm going to call this continue rate. And I'm just going to copy that same thing. And I'm just going to do one more of uh, overall, let's just say 90% completion. So here, let's just do this and we'll put 90 divided by 10. So hopefully you're following along with this because it is so impactful. Okay, so now we have this with the 90% and we've got that, I'm gonna call it the completion rate or you can just call it whatever, whatever makes sense to float your boat. Okay, and then we can put this in between there and we can put this there and then we can come into good old um, the style tab and we can actually change the number two to be a bar chart with the metric. And so now you can kind of see how engaging each video is um, at a whole. So I mentioned this with items, for example, on e-com, or if we have um, the visual of uh, percentage here for videos. So what I'm gonna do is open that up. We are then going to change this into be a bar as well. And we're gonna show that number and we can show, I don't wanna show the axis there, um, but we're gonna keep that there. So now what we can do is we can kind of make all of these smaller, we, can, we have all of the relation of the numbers, but what we also have is the percentage here. So at a glance, you can see, oh, wow, this video is way more engaging than the others. And so you can sort here by volume of people who make it this far. You can sort it by these things. And it makes your funnels much easier in the grand scheme of things, because what you can look at here is you have overall arch, overarching videos, but most people want a breakdown that looks something more like this so that you can say, okay, let's look at people who made it to 10%. I think we might even have start here, but I won't, I won't bore you with that. And then what you can do is say, okay, uh, how to find your data set ID. There we go. And the people make it to 70%. So that's the tutorial here, guys. It's just make sure you know how you're using, uh, you're, you're using your funnels, right? You have this option. We've got this option. We've got this option. Ideally, you have the kind of steps in that, um, in that framing. And then down here, you can actually put those broken down by a title or by something else. And the last thing I want to show you, which I know most of you are dropped off, but we can add in the date. And now we can see if over time, if there's a lot of variance. And so what we could do is kind of keep this here and say, all right, let's sort this by date. And we want to keep uh, February 8th, 7th, 6th, 5th, and say, okay, wow, look at this. We had a lot of video views, a lot of engagement here on the 6th. And then you can kind of see trends over time. It's saying, hey, what's actual? What's the actual uh, percent completion? Are we trending up? Are we trending down? And Bob's your uncle. So without further ado, if you are interested in having or working with us, um, visionlabs.com forward slash YouTube is the best place. So that's visionlabs.com slash YouTube. Book a call, download some free resources. We'll be here for you. I will see you in the next video.